Hey everyone, this is Rimantas Petrauskas, and in this video I want to show you how to install the Trendline Trader on your MetaTrader 4 platform. So, when you purchase this EA, you get access to my download center. So when you log in to the eCoders download center, you will see something like this, you know. So there will be like a license to your Trendline tra Trader. So when I, uh, yeah, so I access this through the download section. And uh, if I click on the Trendline Trader, it gets me to this next window where I can choose uh, a software kind of version. So whatever the latest version is, you should choose that. So currently it shows like latest version 2.2, .2, but you know, at the moment you're watching the video, there might be a, a newer version. So just choose the, the most recent version, version. And once you click here, you will get to download the file. So I have the file already, so I'll just go there. So I have this file downloaded from the download center and you can see that inside uh, is like an archive file. So if I go inside, there are files. So I could just straight download, like execute the installation or I can copy paste it manually. Uh, if you look there, it says Trendline Trader for MT4 Pro License, and it's an auto installer. So I can open this. I say run. And then we see that it loads this window. And the installation is basically really pretty simple. It's just, you know, you have to accept the, the terms. You click next, click next, then you choose the MetaTrader folder. If by any chance your MetaTrader folder is not on this list, you click browse button and then you add it manually. But I know that I want to install it on DarwinX, so I input DarwinX here and I see, yeah, it highlights them for me. So I I think it should be this one. Yeah, DarwinX M241. You see, I have lots of MetaTraders. <laughs> That's a programmer's nightmare, you know, like you have to test on multiple accounts and stuff. So whatever, uh, I have a DarwinX M24, so I will be demonstrating on this account. So I, I select that. Obviously, if I need to, I can select multiple folders. You know, I click next and it's done. That's it. Click next and I click finish. That's it. If for any reason that installation doesn't work for you, this auto installer, then you can see there is this MQL4 folder where there's an EA inside. And listen carefully, it's very important. And there's a library file inside. For this software to run properly, it needs these two files. Okay. So I can just copy it and I go to my DarwinX account, uh, this one. I go to file, open data folder. And I just choose paste. I have to click on the white space somewhere. Yeah, I choose paste. Obviously, it will say that these files already exist. Do you want to replace them? You know, because I just installed them through the auto installer. But anyway, you can do that manual installation too, should you need to. Okay, so once the files are in there already, I need to make that EA appear in my navigator window. In case you don't have this navigator window, you can access it through the top menu, go to view, navigator, and in the expert advisor section, I need the trendline trader to appear. I see I have this older version here, so I just uh, click right mouse button anyway, and I choose refresh. And now we see that Trendline Trader Pro 2.3 appeared. That's the most recent version. 
So I can also restart the MetaTrader. That will happen the same. You know, it will reread the expert advisor list, but that's just the easier way without restarting. Yeah. Okay. So now if I go to the download center, I will see that I have a license key right there. So I will copy this license key. Okay. And I go back. Now, there are a few ways to load this EA on a chart. It has to be loaded on a chart. You can load it on multiple charts if you need to, like if you're trading multiple currencies. But just for demonstration purposes, we're just going to add it on one. Okay, so I'm showing how to open a new chart. It's a pretty simple thing, but you know, in case you're new to MetaTrader. So I select the currency pair that I need to. Let's say it will be Euro Yen. Yeah. I click right mouse, right mouse button and choose chart window. And it will open the new chart window. And I can choose the time frame. So for demonstration purposes, I will use one minute time frame so that, you know, I get new candles formed um, like faster. And uh, then I can just drag and drop it. It will immediately open this properties window or I can choose attach to chart. That will happen. It's like the same or I can just double click it and it will automatically like attach it to this currently active chart okay so next very important part make sure that auto trading is enabled over there okay and in the common section like in this common tab i need to have allow live trading enabled because we want this ea to open the trades for us yeah on the breakout of the trend line so we have to allow allow live trading for the ea and also we have to enable allow dll imports that is really important because that's how the ea will kind of authenticate the license key that you will copy you know and paste it so i have checked both of these so we go to inputs and i go to license key and then i will paste the license key hit there and now another important step we we'll scroll down like you know you see there's a lot of parameters there you know so you can learn each each um, in the in the instruction manual or just watching instruction video but basically the most important one is just to start using the software like with the default settings is uh, and listen carefully this, a lot of people miss this so you go and look at what the buy line name is and sell line name so by default those are buy and sell this means if you want to to monitor you know if you want the EA to monitor for like for buy opportunities like to break out of your buy trend line for, for you know for going long then you will use buy to name your trend line it's like ea will identify that okay i see this line on the chart it's named buy and i will know that once the price breaks it i have to go you know open a buy trade and the same for sell so let me just show this so by default it's buy and sell and we just leave it like that Click OK. We wait for it to load. There we go. There's a this like dashboard, if we can call it like that. But important thing is that it shows the line for buy trade was not found on the chart. And it says that line for sell trade was not found either. So this means that for now, the EA doesn't have anything to do. You know, it doesn't have like EA to monitor like so we will draw so I'll take let's say I'll draw I'll draw a line it will be my trend line so 
I double click it. Did you see what I did just did? Like, sorry, which maybe was too fast. So I go there in these um, like drawing tools. If you don't have this, you can access it through toolbars and I believe line studies. Yes, that's correct. Line studies, you see. And another way you can do this, go to insert lines, a trend line. Whoop. And now you can see my cursor changed like to this different, you know. So it means I click my mouse button and I hold it and I like position my trend line, whatever I want, and I will release it. Oh, here we go. I have a trend line. Now, if I double click it, you see it selects it. And I have these three dots, like one, two, three. So this one dot, and those are like sticky. You know, you see, I if it's too far from the candlestick, it doesn't stick to it. But if I, you know, move it closer and release the mouse button, it will stick to it. Yeah, so it's really easy to draw them, you know, like exactly at the top or bottom of a candlestick. This middle one, is for moving around the trend line, okay? So let it stick here again, here we go. And now this third one, I can position it the way I want. But really like easiest way to do it is to just position it like this. Now my trend line is short right now, but if I click right button, and go to trend line properties, I can like select this ray option in the parameters tab. And I click OK. And you can see like it will kind of, I don't know how to say this in English. <laughs> it will kind of, draw, you know, continue drawing the trend line just to see the perspective where it's going. Yeah. So another thing that I have to name it as well. You see the trend line name is, you know, by default it's trend line, so and so. And I have to give it, it a name and I will say by. Click OK. And its color should change. OK, you can see the color changes. It means that the EA recognized the trend line now. Mm -hmm. And you can see that it says found line by for buy trade on the chart, buy breakout price is 123.021. Let's see whether it, where is that? And 123.021. Yeah, it's like exactly what this trend line is. You see, on the current, let me zoom in. Here we go. It's exactly where the trend line is on this currently forming candlestick, yeah? So now, if the price breaks it and closes above it, it means that the EA will have to open a trade, okay? So let's make this like happen artificially, okay? So I'll draw my trend line like this. It's like, like it's already been broken, okay? And we just have to wait for the next candle, like for this candle to close. Let me zoom in. Here we go. So if this candle closes above this trend line, it will be like a buy signal for the EA and it will automatically open a buy trade. Yeah, just a few more seconds, okay. Uh, it will be silly if the if this turns out to a short candle. <laughs> yeah, but it looks like we might get lucky and get a buy trade. So I will zoom out a bit. Here we go. We have ourselves a buy trade. And you can see the trend line color changed again. Now it's blue. And if we go to the properties, it will see in the description, the EA added a word crossed. That's for us to know that it's already crossed. And this way EA knows that it no longer has to take this 
trend line into consideration, you know, because it's already broken. We already traded this trend line, okay? So, if you are questioning why this trade is slightly above the candle, it's because it's a buy trade and it gets opened on an uh, ask price, you know, which is like higher than the candle price. If you don't know about this, then you're really, really new to Forex. But, you know, I don't know. I don't want to uh, annoy you guys that already know this stuff. But just to be quick, if I go to, uh, sorry, if I go there into properties, which is quickly accessible through F8, and if we go to common tab and make the ask line to be displayed on the chart, here you go. You can see the buy trades will open on this red line and sell trades will open on this gray line. So is that all candles are drawn by this bid price, you know, and if we go for buy, it gets open on this ask price. That's that's the spread. That's the difference between these lines is the spread. So it's like, that's the way it is, you know. <laughs> Your broker charges the spread. That's how they live. Okay, so I hope it was quite clear for you. Yeah, if we delete this trend line now and if we zoom out, let's remove the EA for now. Or we can do it like this. Uh, oh, no, sorry. Just We just right-click on the chart, go to Expert Advisors and choose Remove. Hop, here we go. And if I switch to a, a higher time frame, let's say daily, or maybe four hours, we can see the trade also has a default stop loss and take profit of 50 pips. All the settings you can change from the EA properties, but more about all these settings and stuff, you know, in the instruction manual, all in the next video about how the trend line trader works and all the, his settings explained. So I will be ending this video now. I hope it was quite short and straight to the point how to install the trend line. EA. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video. Bye.